Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In this video, we will start designing a live search for your website using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. So this is how it works. You can see that we have this uh, simple header. But if I click on this uh, search icon, we have this screen right here. And in the beginning, we can see we have these uh, three featured posts displayed over here. And you can go ahead and search for your articles of your website over here. So if I just search for, let's say T, then we can see that all the articles of T are displayed over here. If I just type the, then all the articles uh, which has a title in which the word the is included is displayed over here. And then you can go ahead and click on any of these articles and open that post. Now if you go ahead and remove all these characters, then we can see that we have the featured posts displayed over here again. And if I just type something, we also have this uh, heading change to search results. And if you remove all the text inside the search field, then we have this heading featured posts. So this is what we're going to design in this uh, tutorial series. Now in this first video, I'll show you how to design this using HTML and CSS. And in the next video, I'll show you how to add JavaScript to add all the functionality of the search. So let's get started. <laughs> Right here I have created this folder called live search and I just opened it with VS code. Now let's go ahead and create the necessary files. So let's click on new file and let's create an HTML file. I'll just name it index.html and let's also create a CSS file. I'll just name it style.css and we'll also create a JavaScript file. I'll just name it main.js. Let's start with the index.html file and uh, in VS code you can just type exclamation and press tab. And you'll have this basic HTML5 code. So let's go ahead and link our CSS file over here. So I'll just tap link and press tab. And in the href, I'll just tap style or CSS. And here in the body, I'll just link the JavaScript file. So I'll just tap script colon src and press tab. And here I'll just tap main.js. Now let's go ahead and start with the markup of our design. So the first thing we will do is we'll create a header tag. So let's tap header. And we'll also give it a class of main header. And in this header, the first thing we need to have is the logo. So here we can see we have the logo on the left side. And then on the right side, we have this search icon. So let's create a division for the logo and let's give it a class of logo. And in the logo, we just need to type LB dot. And uh, let's open this in our browser and let's see how it looks. So I have this extension called Live Server installed in VS Code. So once you install that, you can just right click over here in the HTML and click on open with live server. And here your website will be displayed in this browser. So here we have the logo displayed. Now let's go ahead and add the search icon. So for that, let's create a division. And let's give it a class of search icon. And in this we will add the icon. So for the icon, we will use the icon from heroicons.com. Right here, I'm in heroicons.com and let's search for search. And I'll just copy this icon from here. So let's click on copy SVG. And uh, let's go back and paste it over here. And if you go back, here we have the logo and the search icon. And the next thing we need to have are these elements over here. So for this, we'll create a different division. So let's go back and uh, here inside this header, let's create a division with the class of search results. And in this, the first thing we need to have is the search input. So let's create an input field. And for the type, let's set it to text. And let's also add a placeholder. And here we'll just type search here. And we'll also add a class for this. So I'll just type class. And let's set the class to search input. And we will add this input field inside a division. Let's give it a class of search input container. And uh, let's add this input field inside here. And the next thing we need to have is this heading. So for that, let's create a division with the class of search title. And here I'll just type featured posts. And uh, here we can see we have the input field and the featured posts heading. And the next thing we need to have are these featured posts over here. And we will use the same design for the search results as well. So let's go back and uh, let's give it a class of a results container. And in that we need to have a UL. And in the UL we will have list items. 
And in the list items, we will have anchor tags. And here you can add the link of your post. I'll just add hash for now. And let's add some posts over here. So I'll just copy this uh, title from here. And I'll just paste it over here for the first anchor tag. And let's copy this li. And I'll just paste it two more times. And uh, let's copy the second title from here. And let's paste it over here. And let's copy the third one. And let's paste it over here for the third anchor tag. And now we can see that all the elements are displayed in our browser. Now let's go ahead and style it using CSS. So let's go back to our code. And here we can see we have already linked the CSS file. So let's go to a styler CSS file. And first of all, let's target the header. And for the header, we also have a class of main header. So let's type header dot main header. And uh, we need to have the logo on the left side and uh, the icon on the right side. So let's type display of flex. And now if you go back, here we can see that the logo is on the left side, but the search icon is not being displayed. And we also have all this content on the right side. So what we will do is uh, we will position all this content relative to the header. So if we go back to our HTML file, here we can see this is the main header. And in that we have this search results division. And in that we need to have all these other elements. So what we will do is we'll just remove this ending div tag from here. And uh, we need to place all of these elements inside the search results division. So I'll just add the end tag over here. Right now we can see that we have the main header and in that we have this uh, division with a class of search results and in that we have all the content of the search results. So let's go ahead and position this search results relative to the header. So here for the header, let's type position relative and let's target the search results. So here let's type search results and let's set the position to absolute. And this is how it looks. But for now, I just hide all of this so that we can style all the other elements. And later we will style these search results. So I'll just set the display to none for now. Right now, let's go back to our browser and this is how it looks. Let's go ahead and bring this header to the center. And let's also set a max width. So I'll just tap max width. And we just set the max width to 700 pixels. And uh, to bring it to the center, I'll just type margin zero for top and bottom and auto for left and right. And now we can see it is in the center. So if I just add a background color, here we can see that it is in the center. Right now, let's go ahead and set a background color. So I'll just change this to hash EDF2F4. And let's also add some padding. So let's type padding and let's set the padding to eight pixels top and bottom and 32 pixels left and right. And we'll also set the font family to Roboto. And this is how it looks. Right now let's style the logo. So for the logo, we have this uh, division with the class of logo. We'll also add an anchor tag for the logo so that when someone clicks on the logo, they'll be taken to the home page. So I'll just create an anchor tag over here. And uh, I'll just cut the ending tag and paste it after this uh, text. So here we have this logo. Now let's style this logo. So for the logo, we have this division with the class of logo. And in that we have the anchor tag. So let's type header, main header, logo, A. And let's set the font size to 24 pixels. And let's set the font weight to bold. And we'll remove the underlines. So let's type text decoration and none. And let's set the color of the text to black. Now we need to display the search icon on the right side. So for the search icon, we have this uh, division with the class of search icon. And we need to add a height to this SVG. So let's type header main header search icon SVG and let's set the height to 24 pixels. And now we can see that the search icon is being displayed. Let's also add some padding to the container division, which is search icon. So let's type header, main header, 
search icon and let's set the padding to 4 pixels and uh, let's set the cursor to pointer right now we need to center this vertically so let's go to the container division which is header and let's set align items to the center and we need to have the logo on the left side and the search icon on the right side so for that you have to type justify content space between and now we can see it looks all right right now the next thing we need to do is we need to style this search results so let's go back and here we have set the display to none so i'll just remove this and now we can see that the contents are being displayed now let's go ahead and set the top position to 52 pixels and now we can see it starts exactly from the end of the header now let's add the background color so i'll just copy the same background color from here and i'll just paste it over here and we need to set the width to 100 percent so for that you have to type left zero and right zero all right now let's add some padding so let's tap padding and let's set the padding to 24 pixels top and bottom and 32 pixels left and right right now let's style this input field so for the input field we have this uh, input with the class of search input so let's type search results search input and let's go ahead and set the width to 100 percent and uh, let's set the border to none and let's add a padding and let's set the padding to 12 pixels top and bottom and 16 pixels left and right and let's set the font size to 16 pixels now if you click on this input field we have this outline so i'll just remove that so you can just type outline and set it to none and now we don't have the outline now you can see that the width of the element is more than expected so for that you can just type box sizing and set it to border box now we can see we have the correct width right now let's style this search title so for that we have this uh, division with the class of search title so here i'll just type search results search title and let's set the font size to 14 pixels and we'll set the margin to 16 pixels top and bottom and 0 for left and right right now let's style this unordered list so here we can see we have this ul so let's go ahead and uh, type search results ul and first of all let's remove the bullets so i'll just type list style and set it to none and we'll also remove the padding and margin that comes by default so let's type padding 0 margin 0 now the last thing we need to style is uh, this anchor tag so here we can see we have anchor tags inside this ul so let's go ahead and type search results ul a and the first thing we will do is we'll remove the underline so just type text decoration none and uh, let's set the font size and let's set the font size to let's try 16 pixels and uh, let's set the color of the text to 2b 2d for 2 let's set the font weight to bold and we'll also add some padding so let's type padding and let's set it to 12 pixels and here we can see that the padding is not being applied to the top and bottom so for that we have to change this anchor tag into a display of inline block so let's type display of inline block and now we can see that the padding is being applied now when we hover over this we need to have this hover effect so for that let's go ahead and uh, let's add a hover effect over here so i'll just type search results ula colon hover and we need to have a smooth transition so here i'll just type transition and let's set it to all 400 milliseconds ease and here for the hover effect let's type background and i'll just set the background color to dae7eb and uh, now we can see we have the hover effect 
but we need to have full width for these anchor tags. So here let's type width of 100%. And now here also we can see that the width is not as expected. It is more than what we expect. So for that here also we need to type box sizing and set it to border box. And now we can see that we have the correct width for the anchor tags and everything is looking just like our design. So with that we have completed designing this live search element using HTML and CSS. Now in the next video I'll show you how to add the search functionality using JavaScript. All right, so that's basically it for this video. If you have any doubts you can ask in the comments below. And if you like this video please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day. Wow.